اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Next step in the process of robustness checks is to assess for heterogeneity. Unobserved heterogeneity. Now latent class techniques for identifying and treating unobserved heterogeneity have a long standing tradition in PLS SCM. Unobserved heterogeneity occurs when subgroups of data exist which entail substantially different model estimates. Now in such case estimating the model based on the entire data set is bound to produce misleading results for example the positive and negative effects in each group could cancel each other now in order to avoid such situations before you go on and analyze data you have to assess your data for unobserved heterogeneity now to do so we've got a procedure called femix in smart pls Now how do we perform on this procedure this is the objective of this particular session now previously we have assessed the endogeneity and the linearity assumption as part of robustness checks now there are a few selection criteria that we have to look into and they are recommended by sastet and we are going to look into aic aic the with factor 3 aic and entropy and some other requirements or other criteria as well in order to assess whether there is a problem in your model or not to do so what i've got is i've got a model here and this is slightly different from the earlier examples in robustness checks because this is a complex model and further it had a higher sample size as well now what we do in case of femix is that we divide our whole model or our whole data set into segments and then we run the model for each number of segments so the first step is to decide how many segments do you need to assess the heterogeneity now in this case the first thing that we need to do is we need to find out the sample size required for each segment now what they have done here is in this paper they have taken the sample size as 85 now there is a reference for it which we've got in another paper here the effect size 0.15 medium effect and the power of 0.80 are the input parameters and this is the recommended setting in social and business sciences research so if you use this particular setting your sample size for each segment should be at least 85 So in this case my total sample is 340 so if we divide 340 by 85 what we get is around 4 to 5 segments so i will need 4 to 5 segments in my model in order to find out whether we have got any issue or not now in this case what we are going to do is we are going to use this particular recommendation of medium effect with power of 0.80 now in this model i've got a sample size of 340 if i'm not wrong yeah 341 here it is so data 2 341 yes so if you divide 341 by 85 you get around 4 or 4 so i've got to run four segments now how do i do this In order to do this, what I need to do is I need I will go to calculate femix or finit mixture segmentation. Now I need to run one to four segments. So segment number one, let's see what our results are. Keep other as default. Just start, and I will need an Excel sheet along with it. Open, and what you need to do now is. once you get the results for segment number 1 go to model selection criteria and you will see in different results here and you do not need all these you are going to use the common ones and i am going to show you which ones are those just copy it to excel new excel sheet and paste it here now these are the results when you when you've got one segment that is whole data analyzed all together 
Now you've got different model selection criteria. We do not need all of them. Let's use the ones that are common. Let's delete this. Let's delete this one. Delete this one. And let's look at AIC3 and CAIC. And then AIC4 and BIC. So AIC3 with BAIC, AIC4 with BIC. So you do not need this one either. But let's let's have it for now. So we need this one. We do not need this one as well. So let's delete it. So for now, let's keep it. So let's now go for the next segment. Go back, calculate, pin it. And this time it's two segments. So what are the results for two segments? Model selection criteria, copy and paste it. Now, again, we do not need this, 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 and this. Now let's do segment number three and four. I'm going, just going to do that quickly now. Now I've got four factor solution. This is number two. This is three third segment and four segments. So here are the results for four segments. Now just double check you've deleted the right way. Delete, delete and let's arrange the results now. Let's delete these columns. Now, once the columns are deleted, the next step is to see what's the minimum value here. Now, in this case, the minimum value is this one here. So, let's bold it. What about AIC4? Where is the minimum value? Here is the minimum value. What about BIC? Where is the minimum value? Here is the minimum value. CAIC, the minimum value is this one. Now, the next step is MDL5. Let's see the minimum value here is this one. And entropy is greater than 0 0.50. So, this is pointing to more than one segment. Just hold on. We have to see other results as well. Now, so how do we assess the results? The result of the fit indices for one to five segments. Now, in our example, it's one to four. They provide an ambiguous picture. Now, what we need to do is, in our case, we have one to four segments. Now, how do we interpret it? So as shown in this example, we have to first see AIC3 and CAIC. What do they provide us or what are they showing us? AIC3 and CAIC. Now let's look at this. AIC3 and CAIC. So what I'll do is I'll cut it from here and paste it here. Now AIC3 is pointing towards four segments. CAIC is pointing towards two segments. So they are pointing towards different number of segments. So AIC3 is pointing towards, in our case, four segments and CAIC is pointing towards two segments. The lowest value is here and this one is here. Now let's move on. Now further, AIC4 and BIC generally perform well when used to determine the number of segments in Femix. Both criteria point to a two segment solution. Now, what is our case here? AIC4, two segment solution, and BIC, two segment solution as well. Okay, moving on. The minimum description length MDL5 also points to a two segment solution. Now, let's have a look. MDL5 here. Look at this MDL5, the lowest value here. So, what is our case here? MDL5 one segment solution. So the problem here is that it's ambiguous. Now the issue here 
is that we have a recommendation for different number of segments. Now, what happens is jointly the analysis do not unambiguously point to a specific segmentation solution because AIC3 and CAIC point to different segments. MDL5 also points to different segments in comparison to AIC4 and BIC. Now, what's happening here is that you are getting a different number of segments for these model criteria or the indices. So in this case, since it's an ambiguous picture, what we are going to do is we are not going to create segments for further analysis and we are going to analyze the whole data together. So there is no issue of unobserved heterogeneity in our results.